Okay, we'll do, do his ears now. I think you can see what I'm doing now. See, I'm just going on the white part there, his ear. Don't worry about those hairs, just keep going. Put those in after. Again, this is really important. Get the ears exactly right. See, there's a little squared off bit there. Things like that are very important. And just fold that line really carefully because On the inside there. Just done that bit. Alright, we can see that, that that's about the thickness of the pencil, that white line. That's quite handy there. A little, little point there. Do the top. See, it's not a straight line. We've got we've got lighter bits, and you've got a flat. You've got a black line in between the fur on his head and his ear. So keep that there. Just things like that. Just be aware of that. whiskers in if you want. Just a little marker. There's one. Probably can't even see that. These lines here are quite good guides. And it's cut. You can put a curl in there. A little one down there. But don't don't do them all. You don't need to do that. Just that one there. That mark there. That mark there. That mark there. And here you see it's quite dark, um, but you still need to mark it, but this will come off, but just don't do it very heavy. See, just going on, it's got whiter up here. Okay, just come down here. Very careful with his ears. There's a little bit of. These are really good to put in. These markers here. They really help you. So. Really will help you. Got a little few lines there. If you put these in, it'll save you a lot of time. Okay, so we've got to about here, and they weren't very bright, so I've just got to put a bit more in there. So I can see them. Now, that's the top of his. Mm, it's going into his elbow, I think, there. Got another line back there. But that's all going to be quite soft. But put the lines in very softly. See, you can see I'm only doing it very softly. So they're, they're just hints there. You don't want massive, I mean they could be a bit harder, but you don't want massive lines there. Obviously this, that's his Roan. Make sure that's nice and strong. Yeah, there we are. Um, then see that little mark there. of white mass here. You don't need to really do anything about that. Just make sure that you've 
if there are any darker bits in here, which there are, that you get those in. And again, it will save you a lot of time. Okay, I'm just going to move the camera down a bit now, I think. Get down to the bottom of the picture there. That's it. Okay, so we got up to that bit, didn't we? Done that bit. It's lovely and white there. It's got a lovely pores. Quite nice. Bit there, but this pore is going around like that. Again, see, I'm doing it on the white bit. Put that in there. Now, see, there's that little bit on the end there. We'll put that in. On the white. Some white, lovely white little pore. Then there's a white line there. A little black bit there, if you leave that out. Don't go anywhere on that black, black piece there. Again, that's a fantastic marker. That will really help you. Okay, then see that line of pour. Fully thrown, and you can actually put the bottom line in there if you want. It will, it will be there anyway, it's in the right place, but you know. carefully here his paw is there it's not there's a darker area there it's the it's just like a bit of shadow underneath his paw there see that would be fun to do that bit there be quick quick to do okay now I've got to do this bit here. I don't think I've done that. Oh, I'll have to have a check. This is done. Now, because you can see the direction of the hair there, you can put those in. Again, I'll save you a lot of time. You'll get it right. If you've got the direction of his fur, it's a great help. There's another line there, another line there, another line there, 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 there. It's a darker bit in there. Darker bit there, see? Just 
make sure it all looks all right. Yeah, the seals are in. You didn't, I didn't show you that I checked those after, did I? But you can see it's all, all in place there. Everything you need is there. I might make this bit up here a little bit stronger. You probably can't see that just on the top of his head. It's really, it wasn't very, it wasn't very heavy. It's very furry, so I went a bit easy on that, but we'll just get it in. of the hairs which is good to put in Okay. Okay, so just fold that back. Let me have a, have a look there. I'll give you a bit more time to look at that. This looks a little bit messy here. I'll probably just go over that top of his ear. But all this white will be covered, it's easily covered by pastel which is fantastic really uh, because it will stay on there until you take it off but if you pressed around the edge like i have here uh, along the top there you will get powdery sub stuff there and you need to take that off you need to take that off I'll, I'll take this off now and show you how i do that just do the top of his ear Check that again. That's better. Yeah, it's never worth it's never worth rushing this bit. I've noticed that sometimes if I'm in a bit of a hurry and I can't wait to get started, I do rush this bit and then I regret it after because it takes a lot more longer to get everything in the proper place sometimes. So yeah, so we take this off, take everything off now, take your picture off, which was lined up with the edge of the paper. So you've got enough, you've got, it was lined up with that. So you can't, you've kind of got enough there to mount. Um, that was lined up with the top of that paper there. That is lined up with that. So you can measure. I'll just show you that quickly because it's really useful. When you're doing your picture, which is obviously under here, uh, if you think, oh, I don't know about that, you can just go exactly across and it should be even if you've got it a little bit wrong, like I have there, even after the careful measuring, you still know that that's a little bit higher and that's a little bit lower, so it's okay. It, it just helps, it just helps sometimes get everything in the right, right place and go across it. Just helps. Somebody gave me that tip once. And it's worth trying to do it if you can. It's a bit technical, you have to be really dead on. Um, it's not my strong point to be honest, I'm not very good at that. It takes a bit of application for me to do that. <laughs> so, yeah, it's good, it's good, good to do that. So then you just peel it off. This is your press, um, trace down paper and you can see he's on there. I don't know if you can see it actually, but he's, he's there, he's first on the paper. But 
but you can use this over and over and over again many 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 times maybe 20 times and it gets full of lines of your pictures but then um, it just seems to always work it just it's just there you know it's just covered in uh, uh, white stuff look just covered in white powder Okay, so just pop that over there. There it is. Now I'm going to show you how to get that um, that trace down powder off. So make sure your rubber's nice and clean. This is my putty rubber. By cleaning them, you just pull them, and they get all the stuff goes inside. But they Again, these last for a long time. I don't know where the stuff goes. Eventually they they get more and more sticky and they don't work so good, but you just have it like I showed you with the um, candy picture the other day, just dabbing it. It's not really a rubber, it's just it's sticky, but it's not sticky. It, it feels a bit sticky, but not madly sticky. So you just dab it on and just get those bits off. It's worth keeping, it's worth being vigilant about this as you go along. Make sure that it's all off. And it'll go a bit patchy looking, but at the very end you can really tidy it up. And um, we keep the paper, we keep the dark paper. Because in the original picture, this is dark, it's, it's dark, very, very dark grey. So I think when we get the colours on, it look really good and you know if you find you're not happy with it just color it over just do it a dark color it's good if you can pop find a picture that you really like and um, just copy it exactly because then you know you're gonna like it you start changing things around um, apart from the you know the colors of the animal that, that's always gonna look okay as long as you've got the eyes and the nose everything in the right place. Um, it can it can look quite messy all this as it's going but and you think oh it's never gonna look right but actually it always does in the end. Don't, so don't worry too much about this. But just make make sure you keep it clean as you go. Just dab it. That's the best way. And it will go patchy looking but don't worry about that. It'll be all right in the end. That's all going to be white. Doesn't matter about that. Just these bits up here. They'll need to be dark. It's incredible, this putty rubbers. That's going to be coloured over there. Do that black. Okay, that's it. Ready to start drawing. Now we'll start drawing tomorrow. Because the light's going now, it's quite late. So, um, anyway, I hope you find all the instructions that I've, I've taken photos as I've gone along pre preparing all this. I hope you find them all really clear. If you don't, then just let me know and um, I'll try and answer your questions as best I can. But it should be clear. I've really tried, really been careful to make sure you've got every step, taken photos as I've gone along and then given you the live uh, performance here of actually following the lines and all the bits that you need to take care of when you're following those lines the important bits, they really are important. You'll learn that as you go along, because if you do make a, a mistake in those lines, you'll think, oh God, you know, should have tried harder to get them in place. So really do be careful with it, don't rush it, and um, you'll have a, a great picture at the end. Exciting. <laughs>